Yo guys, in this video, I'm going to be testing if the Risen Extreme Tweaks are actually worth it. Yesterday, I factory reset my PC just to do this test. I recorded some gameplay and creative to show you guys my FPS before. And if you stick around to the end of the video, you'll be able to see my FPS at the end. And trust me, you don't want to miss this. So, I've just loaded into creative and I've set my FPS to unlimited. And as you can see, while I'm free building, it's going to about 180 to 220. And it is dropping down to about 110 sometimes. So I'm going to apply the tweaks and I'm going to show you what my FPS is looking like after I've applied them. But first of all, to get these tweaks, you want to head on down to the link in the description, risentweaks.com slash ruffy. And right here on this page, all you need to do is click explore services and you'll see the extreme tweaks right here. All you need to do is click view details, discord username, type in your discord username here and make sure it's right. You need to do this as there is an authenticator sends you a code to the extreme panel so you can actually access it. So make sure your Discord username is right and all you need to do here is purchase the tweaks. And make sure you're using code RUFFY when you check out for 15% off your order. So once you've actually opened extreme, you can see your ping status in the bottom left, your CPU usage and your RAM usage. And if you head over here to the left, you'll see all of the different optimizations, such as Windows, Network, Develop, GPU and extra optimizations. I'm going to go through each and every single one of these, show you how effective they are and how easy they are to actually do. And I'm going to show you the results at the end when I'm testing it in game. The first ones I'm going to be going through is the Windows optimization. And if you click on this, you can see absolutely everything in here that you can do. There's so much. And this is actually crazy for the price of $30 plus the discount for using my code. You can actually get all of these tweaks. And all you need to do to do the tweaks is click on it. It says, please wait. And that's how quickly you can apply the tweaks. You just need to do that for everything. So I'm going to go through and do all of that now. Once you click on the animation plus visual tweaks, this box will pop up. All you need to do is click on adjust for best performance, then click on custom. And the only things that you need to tick inside here are smooth edges of screen fonts, show thumbnails instead of icons, and animate windows when minimizing and maximizing. This one isn't a must, I just prefer it as it makes the tabs look nicer when you're minimizing or closing them. Once you've done that, click apply, click OK, and the tweaks will apply on Risen's panel. When you click on the defrag drive tweak, this will pop up. All you need to do is click on your hard drive or your SSD and click optimize. Once you've done that, all you need to do is close it off and it'll apply the tweak in the panel as well. So I've completed all of the Windows optimizations in here. That took me about two minutes to do all of these. So now I'm gonna be moving on to the network optimizations. So on the left, just drop this menu down and click on network optimization. And we're gonna be doing all of these inside here. It's the same process, you just need to click on the tweaks. If any of the pop-ups come up, I'll tell you what to do. But other than that, you just click on the tweaks and it automatically applies them. So once you guys click on change network settings, this box will pop up here. All you need to do is click on this, right click, head over to properties, and inside here, the only things that you need to enable are Internet Protocol version 4, QoS Packet Scheduler, and Internet Protocol version 6. So untick everything apart from those three. So I'm going to go through and do that now, making sure you've got Internet Protocol version 6, 4, and QoS Packet Scheduler enabled. Once you've done that, click OK, open back up the properties, head over to Internet Protocol version 4, Click on properties, head over to advanced, wins, and make sure you disable NetBIOS over TCP slash IP. Click OK, and then we're going to be putting a DNS server into here. So to find the best DNS server, you're going to search for the command prompt and run this as an administrator. And then inside here, we're going to be typing ping 8.8.8.8 and clicking enter. And as you can see, we're getting an average of 9ms by using this DNS server. And then we're going to do the same thing for 1.1.1.1 and see which average we get for this. So as you can see, we get an average of 8 for 1.1. So we're going to be using 1.1.1.1 and then 1.0.0.1. If you get a better average for 8, 
gonna type in 8.8.8.8 and then on the bottom row 8.8.4.4. Once you've done that, click OK and we're gonna be heading over to Internet Protocol version 4 again, clicking on Configure and changing some of the settings inside here. So the first one we're gonna be doing is making sure interrupt moderation is enabled. Then we're gonna be heading down to large send offload v2 for IPv4 and 6 and making sure both of these are disabled. Scrolling down to IPv4 and 6 again with the rec v segment and making sure both of these are disabled. Scrolling down to TCP and UDP checksum offloads for IPv4 and 6 and making sure all of these are disabled. Then scroll down to the very bottom where you see Wacom Magic Packet and make sure this is disabled and Wacom Pattern Match is also disabled. Then find Speed and Duplex and make sure this is on the max, so either 1 or 2.5 gigabytes. Then scroll up to the top and make sure Flow Control is disabled. Once you've done that, just click OK. Your network will go out for a minute, but it will come back on and we can continue with the tweaks. So now we're back on the panel, I'm going to finish off doing the tweaks and just show you how easy they are to do. So those are all of the network settings optimized. That took me about two minutes again, as the panel kept restarting because my network kept going out. But now we're gonna be moving on to the d optimization, where all you need to do is click on all of these and it applies the tweaks automatically. So we've done all of the d optimizations. Now we're gonna be moving on to the GPU optimizations. So all you need to do again on here is just click on all of them and it tweaks it. If any pop-ups come up, I'll show you what to do. So we've done all of those. Now we're gonna be moving on to the extra optimizations, where as you can see, you have Fortnite, Valorant, and 5M. So I'm gonna be optimizing my PC just for Fortnite. So I'm gonna click on Fortnite and it's gonna do all of the necessary optimizations to make Fortnite run better. Now we're gonna be clicking on CPU tweaks in the top right and it'll apply the best CPU tweaks and the DirectX tweaks. We're just gonna do the same for that. Then if you see here, the KBM tweaks, we're gonna be clicking on data queue size, mouse tweaks and keyboard tweaks and it does all of those in just a couple of seconds. That is everything that you can optimize inside Risen's Extreme Panel, so I would definitely recommend to go and download this. It's super simple to use, and it can actually tweet your PC super well, so I would definitely, definitely recommend going and checking this out. So guys, I've just applied the tweaks, and as you can see, my FPS is already looking so much better. It's hitting 360 in creative, which is absolutely crazy. I'm gonna hit a little free build, and as you can see, it is staying at around that. It's not dropping that much and it actually feels so much smoother than before. That is gonna be it for this video, guys. I really do recommend going and checking out this extreme panel in the description. It really helped me out and I really recommend it because it definitely helped you guys out as well. But thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.